Even if it rains, and even so if it snows. But okay, I really need a drink a now. Of his power in his realm so that he might restore it to the human. Can I get a drink here? If you have gold, you can even eat here if you like. And how's business going? Ah, don't remind me. Lord Andre is serving free beer at the Gallows Square. Hardly anybody comes here now, except for the rich people from the Upper Quarter. What's wrong with them? <laughs> Some of those swells could really get on your nerves. Take that uh, Valentino, for instance. <laughs> I can't stand the sight of him. But I can't pick my customers. I need every coin I can make. What little I had managed to save has been stolen, along with all my silver. You've been robbed? Yep, some time ago. It was still rather crowded that night, and uh, I was doing the round serving beer. I wasn't gone long from behind the counter, but it was long enough for those bastards. I went to see the militia about it, but they couldn't find a thing, of course. Yeah, yeah. They prefer to get plastered on free beer. Yep, that's another uh, not written quest, actually. Uh, it's, it's not going to be in your uh, diary or whatever you want to call that, but it's actually a quest we can do for Corrigan, but since we have no idea if the silver reaches, the, uh, we'll ignore that. Tell me about the missing townspeople. I heard that a lot of them went missing down by the harbor. Small wonder with all that's going on down there. Even Thorben, the carpenter in the lower part of town, has lost his apprentice. Hakon, uh, one of the merchants in the marketplace, had an especially strange tale to tell. He said that there was this fella that he used to bump into every day, and then suddenly he vanished off the face of the earth. He even went to see the militia about it. Townspeople all pretty much panicked after that. I don't know what to make of it. I, <laughs> I think it's all nonsense. Corinus is a rough city, and many dangers lurk outside her gates. Those who don't stay within the city walls will be attacked by bandits or eaten by wild animals. Yeah, it's that simple. Seems that militia is pretty incompetent. What is it with this Valentino? Yeah, he's filthy rich and has no need to work. And he brags about it to everybody, whether you want to hear it or not. He drinks a lot and always stays until the end, and then early in the morning he totters back to the upper quarter. It's the same every day. Oh, that Valentino guy isn't currently here. I think he's one of the people lis uh, listening to Vatra's uh, funny story. Yeah, it's the one all the way at the, at the end, but... I'm not really in the mood to deal with him currently, so we just go to the marketplace. I'm sorry for if the, those episodes are rather boring, but uh, the first part, the first uh, chapter is really dialogue heavy, but we're soon getting a little bit more action here. Hey, Greg is here. Hey. And he has nothing interesting to tell, so we'll just ignore him. I am Hacker, the weapons dealer. Every man should carry a weapon these days, especially when venturing outside of the city walls. What do you know about the disappearances of the citizens of Corinus? I have seen many pass through the eastern city gate. Some of those who came, I had never seen before in my life. And many of those who went out, never came back. But what happened the other day was really quite strange. There was this fellow who came here. I think his name is Joe. He bragged that he would soon come into some serious money. He claimed that he knew how to get into one of the city towers, where the militia keep their arms. I haven't seen him since even though I used to bump into him around the same time every day. I reported this to the militia. I thought that maybe he had been caught and thrown into the dungeon. But Lord Andre had no idea what I was talking about. He didn't even know the fella. You don't say. Harrod told me about the attack by bandits. Oh? 
And he'll give me his approval to be accepted as an apprentice if I hunt down the bandits. <laughs> Good old Harrod. That must be his way of saying he's sorry that he can't produce any weapons for me at the moment. Someone's got to do the work. I don't believe that. What do you know about the bandits? What do I know about them? They robbed me on my way to the city. And I'm not the only one. They've been up to their tricks for quite a while. The militia tried to track them down, but without any success. Do you know who in the militia took part in the search? The fellow's name is Pablo. He and a few others went looking for the bandits, but they didn't find them. Do you know where I can find Pablo? He patrols around the city. You'll find him either at the Temple Square or in the lower part of town. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Really, how interesting. I won't tell her a thing from now on. I won't tell her a thing. That's what I'm I'll deal with it. What? You want to take on the bandits? By yourself? You're quite a good fighter, huh? How much is the matter worth to you? You want to get in Harrod's good books, don't you? I don't think I should have to pay you for this. Where did they hold you up? Near Akil's farm. Just go out of the city gate from here. Follow the road to the right. After a while, you'll get to a few steps. The bastards came from there. I bet they have their hideout back there in the woods. How interesting. Who says things like that? He can't show me your wares. Okay, Harrod is, a, like you said, a random weapon stealer. He doesn't really have uh, that much interesting weapons or useful weapons at all. He's also one of the. Then again, uh, weapons trader are generally pretty useless. <laughs> okay, on to the next trade, which is Jara. Enos be with you, stranger. If you're looking for a good selection for the traveler, then you're in the right place. But I'm warning you, if you're planning on helping yourself without paying, I'll call the city guard. Just a moment, do I look like a thief? Bah! You won't be the first one to make off with my things today. That's not what my husband Somebody stole from you. I can't prove it. The fellow was damn clever. Introduce himself as Ringaroo, if that really is his right name. He's been hanging around the marketplace the last few days. And every evening he gets plastered at the beer stand down the street. I bet the bastard is drinking my money. I only looked away for a moment, and my purse was gone. And it's gonna get even worse. I can get your gold back for you. Oh, and why would you do that? Don't tell this to anyone. Well, that depends. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? <laughs> You've got the wrong man. I'm from out of town like most of the merchants in the marketplace. If you want to get into the upper quarter, go talk to the resident merchants in the lower part of town. I want part of the gold as a reward. First, see if you can get my purse back. Then, we'll talk about your reward. How much gold was in that purse? Fifty gold pieces. That's quite a lot in these crappy times. I'll see what I can do. Be careful. If you just knock the bastard down, the city guard will get involved. Lately, things have been getting really tough here. Since the paladins came to town, the guards have been cracking down on brawlers. So, think of something. I shall. I shall knock him down. No, oh, wait. Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot about the verse of Jara. That's an open secret. Show me your wares. Which is not that great either. He has pretty useless items as well. He has just mixed out of uh, ranged and melee weapons. Most of them way over our uh, strength. And he has murky shrooms. Or dark mushrooms. I'll just take these. I can't take care of everything for everybody. You don't say. But that's terrible. How's business? When the paladins came, I first worse. thought that it was a good business opportunity. But they let Herod make their weapons, and neither Hakka nor I make even one gold piece off them. 
Moreover, the farmers no longer supply us with food, and all the prices have gone up. It's only a small consolation that the paladins are paying my hotel bill. You don't say. Show me your wares. And it's gonna get even worse. Yep. Like, Harrod, she has a little bit more weapons, but none of them are, uh, currently... Well, we could buy some, but, uh, we would sell some stuff, but, uh, I'm probably a little bit, uh... Uh, conservative of gold because I'm probably going to use it for better things. And we already know about the problem with the farmers, so there's no need to talk talk about that. And now we probably have the most useful uh, trader here, which is Zorus. I'm Zorus, master of potions. Do you need an essence of healing or a magic elixir? Then you've come to the right place. That's terrible. Yep. He sells potions. Show me your wares. I just received some new potions. My guest, Master Darren, the fire magician, brought them along from the monastery. But more importantly, he has also magic spells. And the best thing about magic spells in Gothic 2 is they only cost 5 mana, no matter how, uh, how strong they are. You see that there's a fire arrow which only does 25 magic damage only costs 5 mana and the fire range which is 500 and is an area of effect spell does uh, only also only costs uh, 5 mana. So I'll probably get equipped with a couple of uh, spell scrolls which, which we could use. We, we even have uh, summoning spells like summon demon, awaken golem, create skeleton. And I'll probably uh, use a little bit of my gold here like uh, the ice block is really useful. Uh, something golems and oops, I don't have enough gold, so it's probably uh, time to sell some crap which I have. I don't need that, I don't need that either. I don't need nine hammers. What the hell do I need nine hammers for? Uh, I'm probably in the future I cut these trading scenes out because there's nothing of interest to, uh, to look at. But just for the moment, to see how the trading, trading actually works, it's pretty... Uh, Pretty straightforward. Click on the item you want to sell, etc., etc. Uh, unlike in Oblivion, there's no um, uh, trade which gives you more gold for a certain item or less, which is actually pretty handy because that's was sort of annoying in Oblivion where you were running all across town just to get to that trade which likes you a little bit more and is interested in that ware. Okay, yeah, so 160 gold. So we got bought some ice blocks, a weapon gold, a skeleton, a couple of lightnings, why not? For rainy days. And I suppose that should do the trick for now. Uh, we could get some information about Constantino, but I think it's not really in, uh, that important about where he gets his plants. I think I, sp I try to spare as a lot as much dialogue as possible so we don't have to stay here all day. 